everyone my name is anita sharma and i welcome you all on ink pot hub with another research story and this story is very close to my heart because this is of my own student whom i taught when i was working with apple university and i'm so happy to see that my student yogesh learned bibliometric analysis all by himself and translated his ideas his previous experiences into a research paper and reflected and worked with two professors who shaped the entire journey and now the paper is out in the journal of clinical research so i'm going to interact with them if you have any questions in the entire interview please post them in the comment box and be with us in the entire conversation Welcome to our platform Inkpot Hub. I'm very happy to see your latest research work which you two have done including Professor Amandeep Bhir unfortunately is not there with us today uh in this particular call. Professor Karminder I'm very fond of you. Yogesh I'm very delighted to see you as a researcher coming as a you're a very promising researcher. I'm so happy to see you today. Thank you. Thank you for this uh, approval so, to Thank you for having us on the show. <laughs> Yeah so I would like to know that how this thing happened this research paper happened and tell me more about this particular work which you have done hmm. so <clears throat> it all happened because yogesh came with a lot of competency of manufacturing and operations excellence hmm. working with the leading consulting organizations and uh, manufacturing organization he gave up his career in corporate to be a researcher and uh, joined the phd program at our school and professor nair gave us a very interesting vision Uh, to build a school on the sustainability paradigm and uh, so then once he came then we thought that uh, how can we build upon manufacturing and sustainability together for his uh, phd research and incidentally i have also done mba msc in sustainable development along with my mba mm -hmm. so that fitted very well into the whole thing mm -hmm. and uh, that's how the idea got germinated to do something in this domain and uh, then we were lucky to have the mentorship of uh, uh, professor amandeep bhir who is an internationally renowned faculty and who was coming to our school and then we formed a good team three of us together mm -hmm. so that is how this whole thing and uh, yogesh can add few more things to this well uh, uh, thank you dr kaminda for this and thank you dr anita for uh, giving us this uh, platform to share our views and share our research work uh, with the uh, fellow colleagues it's my pleasure well, uh, yeah thank you ma'am so well uh, uh, being a consultant from all, for more than a decade and um, and uh, being part of academia in the terms of that i was constantly visiting institution uh, uh, double, uh, doing some capability development programs for the industry and all so i always felt a need of uh, industria academia connect mm -hmm. and i could find myself to be in right place to uh, right i mean right place and right time and right person to do this um, uh, so i mean then uh, as dr arvind that told that transition from an academy from an industry professional to an academician so uh, for these 12 year 12 12 years i have been working primarily on the operational excellence part uh, in the industry with a focus of, uh, i mean most of my projects have been key focused on the energy efficiency industrial energy efficiency part of it with operation excellence uh, and other operation excellence excellence into it so uh, obviously as a natural choice for us to work, uh, to work on uh, on these aspects so we thought of combining uh, the operational excellence and sustainability domain together and hence uh, we research we started researching on the sustainable manufacturing field so the idea was first to know about the field as a literature what literature talks about uh, because we were only having the industry insight of what sustainable manufacturing it what industry is doing it but uh, as far as academia is concerned literature is concerned we thought that we should do a literature review of it uh, and in a systematic manner so here we started our journey that we will work on the field of sustainable manufacturing uh, with focus on sustainability uh, and the um, on the basis of whatever learning we have from industry so this was the first step uh, which we took uh, as a you know, research step uh, in this direction mm -hmm. and i would like to add that during this process uh, yogesh learned and to a significant uh, level mastered the the fundamentals and application of bibliometric analysis yeah i was so about this, to come on this thing like yeah. uh, so the, this uh, school 
uh, this tool was not relatively used to a greater extent because prior to it more of the, uh, the literature reviews uh, yes there were systematic literature reviews as well and there were qualitative reviews as well mm -hmm. but we thought that let us bring some kind of a strong scientific rigor to doing a, a review process and uh, we have a, a lot of other plans with respect to uh, popularizing and building upon this tool and uh, building a culture of doing bibliometric analysis so uh, at one point of time when we were using this tool so we were thinking that how to take it to the next level so not only we uh, employed bibliometric analysis uh, for this paper but we have uh, submitted another paper for a review which is under review where again we have used this method and we have found this method to be quite quite interesting and useful uh, in systematizing the literature in a domain and to be scientific uh, providing a rigor while doing it and you can add a bit more to this yeah so uh, there is a story behind it why we use this particular methodology hmm. uh, so uh, when i joined academia after i mean having quite spent quite a good time in industry so it, report writing was natural to i mean it was natural to us i mean we were doing it day in day out but I, when i first wrote my first uh, a paper which was i mean part of our phd coursework and i submitted to a am conference the feedback which i gained from there it, it showed me two three things Two inputs. First, I was very bad at writing, especially okay. in the academic literature. Second, I was having no methodology or no proper methodology which could sell this paper to any good conference or any good lit paper. So, I mean, about the writing, I knew that it will take its own course of time and it will be a iterative process, it will be a learning process. But about the methodology, it is it was very important at that point of time to take a methodology which is robust enough and which can give you an edge over it. So I was looking for different methodologies and I opted for this uh, bibliometric analysis. So you can say I took almost four months to learn it by my, my own and uh, uh, so we mastered this to uh, some extent. Presently we have uh, one successful paper uh, which is published paper on this method, another paper is in review um, and yeah I mean that's how it, uh, we, we begin. With. Mm -hmm. So, what are your, uh, as you have already mentioned about your future plans? So, what other this paper, what, what next paper is coming on? What is that domain? Again, on sustainability? Yeah, uh, two things that we are very passionate about at this moment, and we want to really go deep into it. And I, we feel that this is a domain because in past, what we have seen in Indian research is that very few scholars go into a particular domain and then they go deep in because mm -hmm. we have seen people traversing and going shallow in multiple domains but now we have a very much focus that sustainability energy and corporate uh, environmental responsiveness these are the three key words around which we are going to build our future research in multiple ways we are trying to go deep into the subject and with using as many as methodologies we, we, which we can learn mm. to enrich our research study and enrich ourselves uh, as a scholar in that sense. Yeah, so I think you are actually justifying that uh, statement inches wide, miles deep. So yes, getting, yes, 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 yes. getting into a lot of research uh, in one stream and knowing about that particular thing completely and then completely. becoming a full-time researcher in that space expertise. it's like inches wide miles deep so i yeah. used to teach my phd students about it so the yeah, so in, very first class starts that, that. that. Yeah. okay so uh, that, next that, thing which is very very important and i'm uh, i have struggled a lot in that space and professor karminder i and uh, we have worked in certain projects together uh, I really want to know what works when it comes to team synergy. Yogesh, I want to know from you because you are a new scholar and uh, completely dedicated into research thing. Professor Karminder is had, you know, wearing multiple ha uh, hats. So how are you handling it? So I'm not asking you, sir. Please uh, let uh, Yogesh. I will add to I add to a few things later. If yeah. Yogesh. All right. Yeah. Yogesh, you start. Um, yeah. So uh, being a uh, Industry professional helped me a lot in, in this, ah. uh, in building teams because, ma'am, uh, I mean, in industry you can't do any project alone. You need to build your team. 
Mm-hmm. You need to develop capabilities with your team. You need to share the capabilities with your team. You need, I mean, irrespective of the hierarchy, you need to help each other uh, and all those things. Mm-hmm. So, uh, industry, yes, I have done it a lot, but in academia, it was a challenge. <laughs> Fortunately enough, I had to, I mean, I mean, you can say them friend, philosopher, guide, whatever you want to say that. Uh, first, uh, I, we met uh, Dr. Karminder. We developed a very good team on. Uh, we are working on multiple projects, and then fortunately, we got in, uh, we got connected with the Dr. Dhee here also. I mean, he has helped us a lot in building that team and expanding that team, not only within India but globally. So, I mean, the, our horizon is expanding, just not not because of our individual skills, just but because of the team which we are trying to build on. So. Our team has come into place because of multiple things and I would like to start with thanking Professor Nair, our director, because of this. Mm. The reason is that he has created a system in which we can get scholars like Yogesh to take admission. Mm. Because it's not that easy to get people who are competent to take admission in your school. That is one. Second, it also uh, uh, takes a lot of resources when you get a faculty like Dr. Dheer to come and do workshops. Mm. Second thing is our team is very diverse, very, very diverse. So, uh, Yogesh is an engineer to his core. He likes to break up things, uh, systematizing everything and going deeper into mechanics of everything. and putting every building block in that sense and that adds a lot of value to our whole project. He's a quantitative person, he loves numbers, he loves analysis. If I see myself, I'm a more of a storyteller, I'm a more of a qualitative person and I like to uh, build uh, some layer over the the core analysis which is being uh, taken care by Yogesh and then giving it a kind of a packaging of something uh, as a paper to whole thing, although everybody is going, but I'm just thinking primarily uh, I take that role to a great extent. And Dr. Dheer uh, is a uh, is a process guy, uh, and because of his expertise, because of his vast publication experience, then he is able to clearly look at what goes through and what is likely to be expected by the editors who are the kind of a gatekeepers of the journals. The key, we all three do different things and uh, the one common thing between three of us is we are extremely work alcoholic or very hard work and we are very blessed, we are diverse but we have something common. Talking about our team is we are very very critical about each other's work. We criticize, we, we do appreciate each other but we do take time to criticize each other. I mean Dr. Dr. Kamendra will remember we spent many hours criticizing on what we have done and then we come to okay, then we come to a final solution. Okay, now this we are going to this. I mean this was a very important part of our team which we have tried to develop now. So Karminder sir, I guess we are missing on this particular point. Criticizing and critically evaluating <laughs> each other's work. <laughs> yeah. Role of Dr. Nair in this. Uh, I mean, the biggest contribution which he has given, I mean, I mean, developing this thing is, is the freedom of thinking which he has given to us. I mean, uh, that was the biggest thing I could expect from a director, uh, I mean, from someone like him, that uh, we were having that freedom to think, freedom to work. Mm-hmm. And uh, have, um, I mean, I'm fortunate enough to be a student of uh, Dr. Broca. I mean, uh, what can be said about him? I mean, it's a pleasure, I mean, it's a blessing to be his student. I know it very well. I work with him and yeah. I know it very well that what kind of freedom he gives. And I'll have a separate call on all these things with him saying that the kind of leadership he is having overall. I'm sure this has given uh, wings to everyone. We all are trying yeah. to, you know, we are free and we are flowing, floating, but he's supporting and his support is there to help us flow. So I'm, I'm very thankful to both of you including Professor Amandeep he is not here and uh, I'm sure the school's objective and the research object- objectives are now aligned and uh, LM Thapar is going to do wonders in the coming times.
I'm very happy. So we'll we'll work on that. Thank you so much for having us. Press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update.